live coverage of the NBA here on 2K Sports. A happy Sunday evening to you and yours. I'm Kevin Harlan. With me tonight, former NBA players Richard Jefferson and Greg Anthony with David Aldridge joining us courtside. It's the Chicago Bulls and the Phoenix Suns. Now let's take a look at the Bulls opening lineup. They've got Dennis Rodman. Harper is out there with Michael Jordan. Then it's Longley. And it's Pippen in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Pippen over Allen. Pippen misses. Outside, KD. He dishes it to Booker. There's the three. And it's Durant missing. Harper with the ball. Jordan outside. And the first shot of the night for him missing. Left side, KD kicks it out to Gordon. KD against Jordan. The pump fake kept the D off balance and gave him room. And Durant's jumper is as pure as it gets. You just assume ahead of time it's going in. Longley against Nurkic. Nice move. The shot's good from Jordan. Anytime you get a look that good, oh, it's a great trip. First quarter, about a minute and a half in. Rodman against KD. And then Durant with the jam. What an athletic play by Durant. This man, what can't he do? Jordan against Gordon. Jordan with the bucket. Jordan's got his second bucket. And once he got to the 10, I think he was surprised to find himself that wide open. Easy possessions like that literally are just a gift. You just dream of them. He'll gladly take those. And about two minutes played here in the first quarter. And the call will go against Grayson Allen. That is his first foul of the game. And Chicago has possession. Right side, Harper. Passes to Pippen. Now here's Jordan. Five on the clock. And Dennis Rodman with the slam. Yeah, and this is what happens when you have a score like Jordan on the floor. He attracts all that attention defensively, leaving guys wide open. Durant kicks it out to Gordon. Back to Durant. He gets that one. Durant's got six. Just too much to handle. Durant not phased by the bump. Durant's gone three for four here from the field. Now Pippen. Down low. And so it looks like the Bulls will retain possession here. And he made the right read on that play, but just couldn't secure the steal. And deflections, they're a stat that all teams track. They show who is the most active defensively. The Bulls making a switch here. Kukoc has checked in. Now here's Pippen. And that one is off. And you don't see that every day. Usually he'll convert when he gets that close to the rim. And finished off by Katie. The length, the quickness. There's just not much you can do when Durant is driving to the rim. Here's Kukoc. It's Pippen on the way. Defended by Gordon. Pippen, the pass to Longley. And the call will be against Yusuf Nurkic. That is his first foul of the game. So for the Bulls. Wennington, he's checked in for Rodney. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Harper. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played, Kukoc dishes to Kerr. Four on the shot clock. From deep. And another miss by Chicago. The Suns leading. Here's KD. Kukoc grabs the miss. One oh two left to play here in the first. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. 
Pippen kicks to Kukoc. To the inside. Wennington with the bucket. There's 48 seconds left in the first quarter of the game. Steps back. Allen outside. Here's KD. And then Durant with the dunk. And guys, he's not an easy man to stop when he's got the rim in his sights. Never has been, never will be. He is a determined finisher. Pippen, the pass to Wennington. Back to Pippen. Who coach with it? And it's Phoenix with the rebound. Norkic has got rebound number five here tonight. And Katie, here we go. And then Durant with the jam. Super long. KD's arms stretched for days, helping him slam it on the bounce. Pippen, the pass to Wennington. Yep, it counts. Wennington's got his second bucket of the night. Seven seconds left to play in the first quarter. Durant way outside. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Phoenix Suns. That quarter had to take a lot out of him. He racked up 12 points. And we'll be back with you shortly. And we hope you're enjoying the game. Both teams tonight keeping things pretty even so far in the scoreboard. And let's take a moment, guys, to get your take on the scoring so far for the Suns. The story so far has been their mid-range shooting. The analytics might not like it, but elite offenses still knock it down from that area. And something else that I liked is how they attack the paint, finding ways to get inside and capitalize time and time again. Duran is out there with Nurkic. Then there's Devin Booker. Then there's Allen. And it's Gordon in the shooting guard position. So that's the lineup on the floor for the Suns. Okay, KD put a little extra on that one. And here's Kerr, still without a basket. Outside, Kukoc. Over Allen. Rebound by Nurkic. Norkic has got rebound number seven for him tonight. And now the latest from our reporter, David Aldridge. Thank you, Kevin. The transfer of the Phoenix Suns last season to new ownership ended a tumultuous chapter for the team and for the league. The new leadership aggressively made the trade for Kevin Durant last year and for Bradley Beal this summer. It's a great roster and the Suns' $4 billion sales price reflects the sense that this Phoenix market is one of the sleeping giants in the NBA. Kevin? I agree. On the rise. David, thanks. Simpkins, no good. Suns leading by six. And Kevin Durant again. KD's got six points in the quarter. Oh, come on, KD. Go easy on him. Goodness. And it's Eric Gordon with the foul. That's his first foul. Rodman, he's checked in for the Bulls. Harper comes in for Simpkins. Just over one minute has passed here in the second quarter. Three-pointer, Kukoc bangs home the trifecta. Kukoc has got himself on the board with three there. A, a legitimate threat to burn you outside. Kukoc understands when he should take that shot. Here's KD and the jam by Kevin Durant. Oh, oh inflicting some punishment with the two-hand flush. Ah, they're going for the throat. To the middle. Here's Kukoc. Lays it up and banks it in. Kukoc has got five points so far. 
Yeah, and there it is again. On a lot of their possessions this first half, they've established great inside position. KD with the bucket. Well, Durant must be making the defense sweat a little bit right now. Whenever he gets into a rhythm, he gets aggressive. Bulls trail by seven. Harper kicks to Kerr. Jordan inside, defended by Allen, and he gets the bucket. He has six. Guy's just ridiculous. He is just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Now here's Durant. He's got 22, and the Suns tack on two more. And his stroke has been dead on from the outside. I mean, inside, outside. It just doesn't matter. Harper dishes to Kukoc. Now the pass to Jordan. And slam dunk by Jordan. Yeah, it's like he just keeps going up and up. Limitless vertical for MJ. KD passes to Booker. Three-pointer. No good on that one. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. Jordan. And yes, it's good. Yeah, catching the defender there off balance. Jordan with the great strength to convert through contact. Let's see what he can do there at the line. Chicago making some changes. Longley comes in for Tony Kukoc. And Pippen subbed in for Steve Kerr. Now here's Durant. He's got 24. It's hauled in by the Bulls. Pippen with it. And it's Gordon picking him up. Pippen with the bucket. Lethal from the mid-range. Pippen doesn't need much airspace to feel comfortable with that jumper. Here's Durant. Harper with the steal. Moving it up. Outside for Pippen. Back to Rodman. Stolen by Durant. Allen outside. Shoots over Harper. Booker dishes to Durant. From downtown, there's the triple from Durant. And defensively, what can you really do against KD right there? Bulls trail by four. Harper the pass to Rodman. Michael Jordan on the wing. Outside Harper. Good ball movement here by the Bulls. Pippen outside. Shot clock at six. Longley, a screen on Allen. For three, Pippen. Phoenix grabs the miss. Norkic has got rebound number 10 tonight with that last one. Katie against Rodman. And then Durant with the dunk. Okay, when you let someone with this height get this close, it's going to be nearly impossible to stop, especially when he has that big of an advantage in this category. And so it's Pippen with it. He brings it up for the Bulls. Six-point game. Four seconds separating the shot and game clocks. Short. Bank shot. No good. KD with it. Rodman on him. And creating a little separation here. Gaining some confidence. Yeah, they've locked in during this stretch. If they keep it up, their lead will only continue to grow. To the paint. Here's Jordan. That falls. Nice feed that time from Harper. Jordan's got 12 points in the game. And you can just see the extraordinary competitiveness. MJ staying laser focused after absorbing the contact. And so it's Phoenix with their lead standing at six points here at the end of the quarter. They're playing a bruising game inside and it's working for them. We've got more in store for you right after this.
And we've got second half action for you. Thus far, a pretty evenly contested game. What a game we're seeing from Kevin Durant. Man, he's been running wild on them through that first half. Absolute dynamite on offense. If they don't change their approach in the second half, eh, let's just say his success will continue. So starting the second half, here's who Phil Jackson has on the floor. They've got Harper. Dennis Rodman is out there with Longley. And it's Michael Jordan. And it's Pippen in at the small forward. Getting the latest now from our sideline reporter, David Aldridge. David, it's all yours. Take it away. Hey, Kevin, thanks very much. You know, Devin Booker has a take on load management. He says, I'm not a part of that. I spend a lot of time in the summer making sure my body can take that load on. I want to be out there doing what I have to to help the team. That's how I've always been. And I haven't lost sight of those kids up in the stands that might be seeing me for the first time. Kevin, back to you. I like that perspective, D.A., thanks. And the shot is good. The Phoenix lead has been cut down to just six points and the bucket from Pippen. KD looking around. They get a hand on it. Stolen by Pippen. And he's going up for the alley-oop. And this is how unselfish Pippen can be, wanting to find his teammates. And about a minute of action so far in the third quarter. KD on the wing. Back to Booker. Outside Durant. Allen outside. Shot clock at five. Booker with the screen for Durant. Shot from the top of the key. And it's Chicago with the rebound. You, you almost have to assume he's going to knock those down when he is that open. Harper's shot's good. See, he had time to line it up. And you know what? He's capable. The Suns leading. Outside, KD. Over Rodman. Durant kicks to Nurkic. Back to KD. Tries the spin move with the spin. No good on that one. Rodman with the defensive effort. Inside. And the jam by Dennis Rodman. Well, uh, as much scoring as Jordan does, uh, the only thing he really cares about is that the team wins. It's stolen by Rodman. And now here's Pippen with the fast break chance. Yeah, just nice strength there, and then just off with the shot. This is his first trip to the line tonight, and that one misses. And, and maximum effort. That's what you see from Scottie Pippen game after game. He looks for ways to affect the game every minute. A tight game here in Phoenix. Booker finds KD. Good. A nice assist from Booker. Booker's got three assists now in this one. And with that basket, he's able to end a 10-0 run by Chicago. Pass to Jordan, to the inside, and Harper slams it in. Just the kind of play they need in a game this close. You know, that's the kind of aggression they want from their floor leader. No doubt, that's the kind of play that can energize the whole team, and they will take it in a close game like this. Oh, an aggressive move and fantastic finish. Mm, trying to send a message with that slam, I think. And Harper slams it in. It puts the D in a tough spot when you have a point guard who can throw it down. He really does, G.A. He really does put pressure on him. Yeah, hard to strategize for a guy who can make a pass or a play like this right in your face. Oh, man, how about the last-minute decision there to pull the shot down and get a better one for your teammate? And here's Jordan. He'll bring it up for Chicago. They trail by one. High post, Pippen. He's against Allen. From the paint. Rebounded by Allen. And here's Phoenix. KD dishes to Gordon. Back to KD. Kicks it out to Al. Back to KD. Just five to shoot. Spins. What a move. Terrific spin move there. Durant's got 39. Inside, Durant's scoring instincts take over. Helping him find a path to that difficult shot. And the first time out of the game called for Chicago.
so Chicago going with an almost entirely new group here. Wennington, he's checked in for Longley. Simpkins comes in for Dennis Rodman. Tony Kukoc, he's checked in for Michael Jordan. And Steve Kerr is subbed in for Ron Harper. And uh, 101 left in the third quarter of the game. And it's out of bounds. And they say it was last touched by Durant. There's 57 seconds left to play here in the third. Outside, Kukoc. Knocks it loose. And that's out of bounds. Chicago will retain possession. Chicago making some changes. Bushler's checked in for Simpkins. And it's Jordan in for Scottie Pippen. Just three to shoot. Bulls trail by three. A shot like that is... A polite way to say, hey, coach, bench me. Not only a terrible shot, but also at the worst possible time. That's just, just not a good idea. They didn't have much of a problem getting the ball into the post that time. Phoenix shooting their first free throw attempt on the night. You look at Durant's game and you instantly see all the hours of hard work that went into shaping it. He's so polished in every area. His skills are so sharp. Here's Bushler. Pass to Jordan. Over Gordon. And the shot is good. The Phoenix lead has been cut down now to just four points with the basket from Jordan. It's graceful. There's a level of dignity that Jordan has on the floor. Just so classy about everything he does. Walker finds Durant. Over in the corner, Allen. Back to Katie. And that would have counted, but his uh, shot was off the mark this time. And so it's Kevin Durant making headlines and highlights for the Suns. With the points he racked up that quarter, he has broken his season high scoring mark already. We'll take a quick break and then back to the action here. How about a look at today's State Farm assist of the game? And he, he may not be known as a pass-first guy playing out of the two-guard spot, but he shows here that he can dole out an assist or two when he needs to. And from a team perspective, having your off-guard rip off passes like that, it's awesome. It shows you have guys willing to give up the rock. We've reached the fourth quarter, and what has been a very competitive game should be an exciting finish. Allen is out there with Durant. Then there's Gordon. Then there's Devin Booker. And it's Nurkic in at the center, filling out the middle. That's who's out there for Phoenix. They timed up the layup perfectly. The D saw it develop and got there to bother the shot. Durant. Kukoc grabs the miss. Bulls trail by four. Wing shot on the way. And there's Michael Jordan, the assist by Kukoc. Kukoc has got his third assist on the night. Kicks it out to Gordon. KD on the wing. Tries the spin move. Count it. Durant's got 13 points in the second half. And how about the grit and determination in the post? I mean, essential qualities to have late in a close game. Kukoc gets the bucket. Able to get his shot in a variety of ways. Kukoc can do it within the flow of the offense as well as one-on-one. -on -one. And he gets the whistle. Two free throws coming up. And you don't ever want to get into the habit of letting the offense get to the rim. And a moment here to take a look at the scoring breakdown for the Suns. I like how they've been attacking the lane. It's been beautiful. All game long, they've been successful, penetrating, and getting offensive production. And also, the mid-range game has been working as well. They kept that as a big part of their game plan. And boy, are they being rewarded for it. Longley's checked in for Wennington. Now here's Kukoc. Out of bounds. Phoenix takes possession.
Phoenix leading by three. And Booker kicks to KD. And the jam by Kevin Durant. And he can do a lot more damage to the rim than that when he wants oh, to. Oh, you're right. And with the lead they're enjoying, I'm surprised he didn't put a little something extra on that one. Final quarter here, and we're just over a minute and a half through it. Jordan passes to Kukoc. Kerr outside. Chicago needs to get off a shot here. Here's Bushler. Rebound by the Suns. Outside Durant. Takes it inside. Kukoc with the steal. In transition, here come the Bulls. And it's Jordan slamming it down. And Kukoc, versatile offensively with a great shooting touch. And then you factor in that 6'11 height. And boy, he causes matchup problems for the opposing defense. And here are the Suns now. After Chicago picking up a basket just moments ago. And Durant gets double team. Back to Gordon. And stolen by Jordan. And it's Jordan with the jam. Yeah, putting the team on his back as he often does. The tighter the game gets, the more Jordan wants the ball. Now here's Durant. Whistle blows. Bucket is good. And he'll have a chance at the line to make it a three-point play. They needed points. And KD comes through. Who else did you expect? Catching up on the changes for Chicago. Dennis Rodman. He's checked in for Kukoc. Pippen comes in for Bushler, and it's Harper in for Steve Kerr. Jordan against Gordon. Takes it from 10. Misses off the left iron. Suns lean by four. Outside Durant. And contact on the shot, so he'll be shooting free throws here. You get the feeling that KD loves the pressure well, because he knows what he's capable of doing for this team. So he gets them both, and it's a six-point ball game. And as long as they can keep doing that kind of work at the foul line, this lead will be safe. Pippen against Allen. Pippen down low. Kicks it out to Rodman. The shot's good on the assist by Pippen. Pippen's got his third assist on the night. You love how each side has risen to the challenge throughout this one. Man, this has been a fun one. But look, who doesn't love a high-scoring game? Really like that work there in the paint. He has really established a low-post presence. And the basket is good. And here we go. A coach's challenge has been initiated. Have to now review the personal foul in question. And I think when it comes to some of the more difficult calls to make, it's really tough to catch everything in real time. The wonders of technology. We've seen replay reviews so effectively and involving the coaches by being able to. A challenge like this is something a lot of people have been hoping for. And so the word is in. They've decided that the call stands. As it was made on the floor. And you know, even if a coach still feels this wasn't the right call, you got to acknowledge the effort being put in to reviewing it. The double checking and the game continues on. And let's head over to the sideline and catch up with David Aldridge. Thanks, guys. I was able to hear Frank Vogel talk to his team during the break. They said to the team, I know you guys are tired, but let's end this game strong. Let's get the win. Big last stretch here, guys. Thank you, David. What a big shot from Durant. This guy is the definition of clutch. Bulls trail by five. Outside Harper. Lobs it up for Jordan. Hammers the alley-oop through. Boy, I, I'll tell you, there's an art to doing this. What's amazing is how often Jordan hits the clutch shot. Passes it to Allen. Back to Booker. Suns moving the ball around. KD draws the double. On the wing, Booker. That's good. And a nice assist from Durant. And the Suns lead by six. 
And since going to the finals back in 2021, Booker's earned the reputation of a winning player. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Booker. <laughs> Left side, Jordan. Over Gordon. That one rolling around and rims out. A chance here to possibly put it out of reach. This is when you really need to maintain your focus. And relentless in their approach, even with the game firmly in hand. No let up with these guys. They're going for the throat now. Not enough ticks left on the clock to save them tonight. Yeah, they got to be disappointed with this result. Harper's shot's good. Making the floater look this smooth is not as easy as it looks. It's a challenging shot. And so they choose to intentionally foul. He hits the first one, and that makes it a seven-point lead. The thing about Booker is he rarely has an off night. He's one of the most consistent shooters in the league. There's 25 seconds left to play here in the fourth. Pippen dishes to Jordan. From outside the arc... Yes! Oh, and that cuts the lead to just five. And that's an intentional foul. No choice but to foul there, but, but he's probably the last guy you want to see on the line. It's the first, and that increases their lead to six. So he goes two for two at the line, and it's a seven-point game. Chicago calls timeout. They trail by seven. 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. Guys, what do you think? Trying to keep hope alive, but, but I don't see them making a comeback. With timeouts, it's use them or lose them. So why not go down fighting? 17 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Here's Durant, and then Durant with the dunk. And credit the whole team. It was a focused, concerted effort to put this one away. And it felt like they just flipped the switch to go on that run and seal the game. Saving their best basketball for the end. Always smart. So it's Phoenix picking up the win. A confident win and one where they clearly showed the greater effort. Yeah, I mean, it was a solid performance, uh, particularly here at home. Uh, I think they built off that edge of being here and, and play with just a little more confidence than their opponent. And that's going to do it tonight, folks, for our broadcast. This is Kevin Harlan thanking you for watching as we present our New Balance Player of the Game, Kevin Durant.